on a shooting this afternoon in a parking lot near an Indianapolis church. IMPD now confirms one of the three men shot in this incident has died. All of them were members of a landscaping crew. Thanks for joining us again for a late edition here this evening. I'm Beershell Edney. And I'm Dan Spieler. This shooting has neighbors really frustrated tonight. And Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli shows us what police believe led up to this violence. Early afternoon gunfire startling neighbors off Fall Creek Parkway on East 29th Street. Police say a landscaping crew was gathered in a parking lot when an argument broke out. During that disagreement, there was an altercation that became physical, and then shots were fired. IMPD Sergeant Janae Cook says three people fired shots. All three were shot, including one person who died from his injuries. One of those victims went for help at the Broadway United Methodist Church. Those inside did what they could. They weren't involved. They just happened to be right here in the, in the area. A place of worship, a pillar in the neighborhood, and also a safe haven for at least one person Thursday. The folks at the church are victims just the same for having been, having to witness and to, and to, and to respond to something like this. Neighbors tell us it's concerning to think about what could have happened, especially if this happened at another time of day. There's kids at the stops uh, waiting for the, for the bus in the mornings. Um, my kids run up and down the sidewalk. I mean, it's just crazy to think that it's the wrong time and wrong place. She says neighbors and groups are working together to make it a great place to live. It's just incredibly disheartening. This incident is individuals that have no connection to our neighborhood other than they were, this was the place where they were. Still, she doesn't believe this one incident will negate that and believes people will move forward together. It's frustrating because there are solutions to these sorts of actions. Just because you can carry a weapon doesn't mean you should use it. You still have responsibilities. On the near north side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Police say they question witnesses and people potentially involved either at the scene or the hospital. They believe everyone has been identified and there is no ongoing threat to the public still. But anyone who does have information should contact police. You can do that by contacting the Homicide Detectives or Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS.